Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at logarithmic differentiation. So we have calculate the derivative of y equals 3 to the x squared power. So to find this derivative with logarithmic differentiation, we start off with y equals 3 to the x squared power and we want to take the log of both sides. We'll use the natural log here. Okay, with this function now, we could use the property of logarithms and take x squared and bring it in front as a coefficient. So for the next line, we have natural log of y equals x squared times natural log 3. So we're just using properties of logs here and bringing this exponent out in front as a coefficient. So what we want to do now is calculate the derivative. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides. But we're taking the derivative with respect to the variable x. So we'll notice right away that the right hand side we have a constant times x squared. So that derivative we could just have 2x times natural log 3. But on the left hand side our variables do not match. So this is where we're going to need the chain rule to go forward here. So we're going to rewrite the left side we could take the derivative with respect to the variable y. However, if we replace d over dx with d over dy, we need to multiply by dy dx. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we're basically just applying the chain rule here and using implicit differentiation. So now on the right-hand side, this derivative is just 2x times natural log of 3. Okay, so now to simplify the left-hand side, we could do the derivative of natural log y, and the derivative of natural log y is 1 over y. So now we have 1 over y times dy dx equals 2x times natural log of 3. So then to solve for dy dx, that's what we want. We want the derivative. We can multiply both sides of this equation by y. multiply both sides by y. And now notice on the left hand side y divided by y cancels and we're left with just dy dx. So we have dy dx equals and we have 2x times natural log 3 times y. But y from the beginning is equal to 3 to the x squared power. Remember we have to substitute at the end because our final answer needs to be all in terms of x. So, if we want to rewrite our answer, we could say our final answer is 3 to the x squared, 2x natural log 3. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on logarithmic differentiation. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.